let us look at a very interesting problem and this is famously called the coin rotation paradox let me try to explain what this is consider a coin of radius r okay now imagine that there is an identical coin right next to it also of radius r now keeping the inner coin fixed keep this fixed and just turn around this coin the outer coin all around it till it comes back to its original position now the question is as it turns around and comes back to the original position how many rotations would it have made around its own center in other words how many times does the outer coin spin around itself as it goes around the fixed inner coin you can try to think of it and see what answer you come up with so i hope you have an answer now what generally happens is that people think it should be one spin as it goes around or it should spin about once as it comes back and this happens because people think that this distance is 2 pi r right and as a coin rotates once it travels a distance 2 pi r so therefore to travel this distance 2 pi r it should rotate once but it so happens that it does not rotate once but rotates more than that how does that happen well we'll have to look at a small animation to understand that so let us look at a very simple animation which helps you understand the coin rotation paradox so here we have a coin a 5 rupee coin which is fixed and we have another 5 rupee coin which is movable so we have fixed the first coin and the second coin can move we'll be moving it clockwise around the first coin while this happens your job is to try to figure out as the outer coin goes once completely around the inner coin how many rotations does it make or in other words how many times has it spinned around itself both the 5 rupee coins are identical therefore their radii are going to be equal as the outer coin goes around the inner coin its center is going to trace a concentric circle around the center of the inner coin to help you understand this better we are superimposing a grid on each of the coin so we are dividing the entire circumference into about 24 parts okay and you can see that there is there are red markings and there are black markings which are very symmetrically placed this will help you track the number of rotations easily the grids are properly aligned at 6 and 18 in the situation now let us move a little further away from the whole situation so that we can see the complete movement easily now as the outer coin starts rotating i want you to carefully mark the number of rotations that it does around the inner coin and the number of times it spins around itself so if you have counted carefully you can now determine the number of times the coin spins around itself as it goes around the inner coin once write that answer down and then let us try to give you the answer and then see if the answer matches so what we have done is that we have had we have drawn four positions here position 1 from where the coin is going to start position 2 which is about 90 degree away angularly position 3 and position 4 now let us see how many times the coin spins around itself as it goes from the first position starts from this position and comes back to this position so right now notice that the 5 is vertically upwards let's start the rotations now you can see that the 5 is going down and as it comes to the second position it's perfectly down vertically so half a rotation is over and here 5 is again perfectly upwards therefore one complete rotation is over let's move further 5 is going down again and in the third position we have 5 pointing vertically down 
once more which means we have one and a half rotations now and as it moves further to the starting point five is pointing upwards once more hence it has made two complete spins around itself as it goes around the inner coin once so i hope you understood why the coin goes around two times well if not why at least you definitely saw that it goes around twice and not once so why does that happen where have we gone wrong if you remember when i explained the wheel problem i told you very clearly that as the coin goes around once spins once it moves forward by 2 pi r but what moves forward is the center the center is taken to move forward by 2 pi r not this point on the rim okay so this is the issue here as you have a coin and you have another coin the center is 2 r away from the center of the inner fixed coin so therefore as it rotates this is the path that the center takes and this path is nothing but 2 pi times 2 r in other words it's 4 pi r so the distance that the center is traveling is 4 pi r and therefore the number of rotations that the coin has to make to make the center go that much is 2 pi r 4 pi r by 2 pi r which is two times so that's the basic idea why it goes around two times and you can actually take two coins and try this out there is a very interesting problem based on the same which will be included in the problem set